Hello, my name is Anne D, and these are the tales of Tarragon Zoo. In this adventure, Philip the Python has a tricky problem. It was a slow drive to the zoo today in the vet's little buggy. The council was running new cables, so the cars had to go slowly around the workmen's trucks. A man with a bright orange coat held a sign with stop on one side and go on the other to direct the traffic. He would let a few cars go through and then turn his sign around to stop and hold up the traffic while some more of the cable was let out off the big reel. When the vet finally arrived at Tarragon Zoo, there was a message waiting at the gate for her to visit the reptile enclosure. I wonder what the problem is, said the vet, as she set off in her little buggy to the reptile house. The keeper was waiting outside for the vet's buggy to arrive. What's the matter? asked the vet. It's Philip the python. You'd better come and see for yourself. When the vet saw Philip, he looked a sight. He was completely straight, all ten feet of him lying rigid along the floor. Thank goodness you're here, vet, called Philip. I can't coil up. I'm stuck. I stretched out last night and fell asleep. And this morning I was stuck, just like this. What am I going to do? Well, for a start, you have to relax, Philip. And we'll have to get you back in your coils very soon. The vet instructed the keeper to fetch the drinking trough that had been in for repair and to fill it with warm water and to place Philip in the trough. The warm water will help him relax and loosen his muscles. While you do that, I'm off to make a phone call. I'll be back very soon, said the vet. The keepers did as the vet asked and placed Philip the python in the warm water in the trough. Just as the vet returned in her buggy, a council truck arrived and unloaded an empty wire spool. It looks like a giant cotton reel, said one of the keepers. The vet thanked the council workers and checked Philip. His muscles had started to relax, and so, with the help of the keepers, the vet rolled Philip onto the spool. A couple of hours like that, and you will be as good as new, said the vet as she climbed into her buggy. Thank you, vet, called Philip. You're the best. <laughs>